All right, I'm at a creek I don't usually fish a lot. Just gets real hammered, but I've actually switched it up four pound fluorocarbon. This water's kind of clear. And a little mini fluke like this on a 16th ounce pink head. Just dragging it on the bottom. <coughs> Just dragging it on the bottom. Definitely like the way this four pound just casts so easy too. Got one, sorry y'all. It's been super random. Get them down in that clear water. Bottom hooked them. Nice solid keeper male. Milton a little bit. So it's getting closer, y'all. This fish is not that cold either. I mean, he's cool, but not cold. All the way on the opposite bank, which is interesting. Beautiful fish. Super soft bite too, real light bite. Thought maybe I was hung up. It's interesting. I'm trying to put a pattern together and I'm struggling a little bit. It's the third one I've caught, missed one, maybe two more. And that fish was on the other bank over there and like no water at all. I'm just like wondering if there's not that many here or if they are and they're just not wanting to buy it. It's hard to tell sometimes. Another one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Tell you what, this four pound line, I love it. I haven't used four pound before, especially fluorocarbon, but oh, look at that fish. If I can get it, come here fish. Especially fluorocarbon, but God, it's so fun. On that little bitty fluke, it's a keeper. Another male, look at that. They're ready. Just get this weather get right. That's very interesting. That's the first place that I've caught multiple fish in. So maybe we got a little school found over there. They're both kind of just sat on it though. They're not thumping it. This is definitely what you would call a finessing fish. Four pound fluorocarbon, 16th ounce jig, just dragging it. I'm trying to cast up this way just a hair. I see a little sandbar, I think, right here. On the other side, it's deeper, and right in front of me, it's deeper, so. That would explain why those fish are so close to that bank over there. God, this little spot's textbook. You can see it's a shallow flat, drops off, it's dark water over there. It's deeper, and there's some shade. Got some current coming down, it's just like textbook spot. Just wonder if there's any fish over here. Just because it's textbook doesn't mean they think it is today. Got something here. Big old Sandy. God, that's a nice one. Hmm. 
That's a nice one. Big male. I, what I did is I, sh I shortened this jig up, took a little bit off the top. God, it's a nice fish. Nice fish. Let him go. Awesome. That one hit it pretty good compared to the other ones. Another one. Oh, he came off. Dang it. Dang it, he came off. Don't like that either. Look, this thing's just not. I went to a smaller hook. It might be a problem. We'll have to see. Dang it. I hate losing fish like that. Just bit it the same way, just slowly reeling it in on the bottom. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see this hook. It's pretty small. I feel like it just cost me that fish I just lost. Because that's the second fish I've caught on that hook, and the second fish uh, came off. On the other hook, I caught several never had one come off so I'm gonna go back to this sickle hook with a uh, bigger shank on it and see that sickle hook it's got a wider gap so it's better hookup ratio just to see because these fish are hard to catch right now I don't want to lose anymore to be honest so all right and I'm gonna keep that same color on there I don't know if I should switch it up just keep the same smaller profile see how it looks this thing's already about beat up which we'll, we'll throw that that's the, the rig right there yeah I just oh, backs hurting I really feel like that hook just cost me that fish There's one. A little smaller one. Still fun. Look at him. Crazy fish. Sorry right for the glare, y'all. Smallest one of the day. Little bitty male. He'd still keep, though. Beautiful fish. I love Sandy's. Fun fish to catch. Let's see if we can repeat that. All right, y'all, that's it. I said my back's hurting, so I'm having to sit down for this outro, but really appreciate everyone watching. Hope this kind of helps, you know, a few tips, you know, look for deeper bends in the creek, some, you know, finesse style, baits you know 16th ounce jigs you know mini flukes natural colors um and then too you know this four pound fluoro like i wasn't never used it before and i don't necessarily it's the clear clear part that's you know good but got the feel of this is so much better than than that mono that i was using there's a lot better um sensitivity with it so i definitely recommend that as well and 
Thanks for all the support. Um, be sure to like this video if you enjoy. Leave a comment if you have a question. And I also want to give a huge shout out to uh, Dallas Fire Station 20. Um, Miles and Lorenzo, I think. Met them out here. They're, they're viewers of the channel. They're out here catching some fish too. And I want to give them a shout out. Thank you. Thank them so much for, for supporting me and great guys. So shout out to them, Dallas Fire Station 20. And we'll see you on the next one. They're, they're not really in the creeks yet, but they are definitely they're definitely moving in you know like i said these fish are not spawning these are pre-spawn fish but they're definitely moving in the right direction we get a few more days of warm weather and a warm rain or two it's going to be lights out so y'all just stick with it stay after them y'all take it easy